Welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. In this video, we'll create product catalog design for the company. Let's do the page setup. Go to File, New, click on Print, and choose A4 size artboard. Now in artboard, here we'll create two different artboard. So here give two and go to advanced option here choose cmyk this is the printing color mode then click on create now let's create the design layout so from the toolbar take the rectangular tool remove the outline now draw a rectangle over the first artboard select the shape go to object path offset path here give some negative offset Increase the negative offset here. Click OK and change the color so that it would be visible on the white background. Now select both, drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate and place it over the second artboard. Now take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle. Change the color so that the new rectangle will be visible. Similarly, using rectangular tool, keep drawing rectangles over the artboard and create the layout. Here also draw another rectangle and change the color. At the down also create rectangle. Now take direct selection tool, select this point and this point using shift key and drag it inside and make it round. And from here unite it. Let's create few more rectangles on the second artboard. Now select both the shape using shift key, drag it using alt key and make a duplicate. Do multiple selections again using shift key. Drag it using alt key and make a duplicate and place it here. Now take direct selection tool. Select this point and this point using shift key and drag it down. This way make rectangular shape round at the top. Let's change the color for this rectangle to white and keep changing color for the other shapes. Now transfer the same color to this for this as well. For this shape also transfer the same color. Now let's manipulate the rectangles and fix the shape. Drag it from this side and take up to here. From down also take this one up to here. Now do multiple selection using shift key. And let's change the color from here. Now using text tool, let's write the product details and the description. Drag the text and place it here. Drag it down and make the size smaller and change the color to white. Here write more details about the product. Write the price of the product and place it here. Make it little more smaller in size and take up using upward arrow key. Take this one little up. Now do multiple selection using shift key and align center. Now take pen tool and draw a straight line using shift key. Select the lines using shift key and increase the stroke from here. Go to object and expand it. And change the color to white. Now do multiple selections again using shift key. Drag it using alt key and make a duplicate and place it here. 
by pressing shift key do more selection like this and drag it down using alt can make a duplicate and place it here here you can edit the text and change the price now drag the text using alt can make a duplicate and place it here and change the color to black drag the text and make the size bigger now select it and go to character from here make it bold bring this one here change the color to black drag it and make the size little bigger and make it bold go to character from here you'll find this bold option Now let's add few more text here. This way enter more details on the design. Now let me open my floral stock design. Let me open the file from here and drag the design and bring it to our artboard. Now place the shape on our design. Bring this one to the front. Drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate and place it here. We can place here. Now do multiple selection using shift key and change the color. Now drag this one and place it here. Drag it using alt can make a duplicate and place it here. Bring this one to the front. So this way keep placing this floral design. bring this contact details icons to our design so you as a graphic designer should have this kind of stocks now arrange those icons and here write the details Now select them and change the color to white. Drag it down and make the size smaller. And place this one here. Drag it down a little more. Do right click on the mouse and bring this one to the front. Drag the text using Alt can make a duplicate. And align horizontally center. Now go to file and open the product images. From here do multiple selection using shift key. And open it. Now drag and drop images to our artboard. Now arrange those images. Take this one here and rotate it using shift key. Bring this one here. Take this image here. Now select the shape, do right click on your mouse, arrange and bring to front. Bring this image to the down. Do right click over the shape, arrange and bring to front. Bring this one here. Change the shape color to white. Bring this image more inside. 
now select it and give transparency so that we can see the background image now select the shape and remove the transparency select the shape and the image and make a mask bring this one here change the color to white give transparency and place the image at the down of the shape let's remove the transparency of the shape select the shape and the image and make a mask now do multiple selection of the images using shift key and lock it now select the down object and bring them to the front change the color to white and give transparency now do multiple selections of the down object using shift key do right click on your mouse and arrange bring to front change the color to white and give transparency let's unlock the images go to object and unlock it Manipulate the images and place perfectly at the center of the shape. Let's remove the opacity of the shape. Select the shape and the image and make a mask. Similarly, do the same thing with other shape and the images. Our design is ready now. Let's export it and give a 3D realistic look. So go to the file, export, save for web, and here save the images, give one and save it. Now select the second artboard, go to file, export, save for web, and here give two and save it. now open the photoshop software in photoshop we'll apply mockup to our design so here is the photoshop i open the design and the mockup file click twice at the first page and drag our first image over the new tab of the mockup and leave it here and place the image here and drag it using shift key and fill the complete artboard mark it unmark the background close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied once mockup will apply here we can see the realistic effect of the catalog design now double click at the second page here will apply the second design Now drag the image using shift key and cover the complete page. Unmark the background, close the tab. Yes, and wait for the mockup to be applied. For the third page, you can apply if you create any third page design. So by following the same process, you can apply for the third page design as well. And let's check the final result. So hope you understand the complete process how to create catalog design. And here I am Abul Mansur. Wish you all the best. See you in next video. Have a nice day.